China is battling the desert, but the desert has been winning. Over the past 40 years, approximately 15% of China's land has turned into desert. That's an area about twice the size of Texas. Sandstorms have swept across the country, turning the sky yellow and causing severe air pollution from Mongolia to Beijing. However, China has recently launched a significant counterattack against the encroaching sands. Similar to the Great Wall built nearly 2,000 years ago, the country is constructing a new barrier to hold back the desert. This time, instead of using bricks and soldiers, China is planting trees. They have already planted more than 66 billion trees, and the project is only halfway complete. So, let's find out how this project affects other parts of the world. In 1978, there was a big plan called the Great Green Wall Initiative. It aimed to tackle the problem of land turning into deserts by planting more trees. They wanted to cover a massive area around the Great Wall of China. That's about 88 million acres of land. The government knew this plan needed everyone's help. So they made a special day called National Tree Planting Day in 1979. Every March, people would come together to plant trees. This started a big movement across the country. In just a few decades, they planted over 66 billion trees. But this project wasn't just about trees. It also aimed to stop the Gobi Desert from spreading and to provide wood for the local people. Every year, the Gobi Desert takes over about 1,400 square miles of grassland. The dust storms it creates are really bad and damaging about 800 square miles of land which affecting agriculture, not just in China, but also in neighboring countries like Japan, North Korea, and South Korea. The official name of this initiative is the Three North Shelter Forest Program. It shows they want to cover three northern parts of China, the North, the Northeast, and the Northwest. Since they started, they've been working hard to increase forest coverage in northern China from 5% to 15%, and it's made a big difference. They've managed to reduce desertification, stop sandstorms, and save water and soil. In 2003, a new part of the project started, which had two main parts. The first involves using planes to drop seeds in areas where the ground wasn't too dry, while the second part entails farmers got money to plant trees in places that were drier than usual. They plan to spend $1.2 billion to keep an eye on everything, like making maps and databases. The wall will have special plants that can handle sandy soil and will be planted in a checkerboard pattern to stop the sand from moving around too much. Additionally, there will be stony areas adjacent to the plants to suppress sand movement and promote soil crust formation. The trees will also help mitigate wind during dust storms. From 2012 to 2022, China undertook a remarkable effort to transform its landscape. During this time, many tree planting campaigns covered a huge area of 64 million hectares. This effort not only increased the number of forests, but also brought new life to ecosystems. Today, over 66 billion trees have been planted. To give you an idea of how big this is, the area covered by these trees is about the same size as the entire country of Ireland. The Great Green Wall Initiative aims to be completed by 2050 but it faces several challenges. These include ensuring its efficiency, preventing groundwater decline, and considering native species and environmental factors during the planting process. The main issue arises from planting monoculture forests. Similar to many reforestation projects, the Great Green Wall relies on fast-growing trees like aspen, white birch, and poplar. These trees grow quickly, but the lack of diversity makes these ecosystems fragile and unsustainable. For example, in 2000, a disease wiped out 1 billion poplar trees, setting the project back by about 20 years. In 2008, winter storms destroyed 10% of the artificial forest. This isn't even the worst part. Planting these tree species without considering local conditions can have the opposite effect. Many of these areas were never originally forested, and the land being planted is often of poor quality. The tree species used in the project require a significant amount of groundwater to grow. But water scarcity and infantile soil have led to the early death of many trees. A 2004 study by Suyum found that only 15% of the trees planted from 1978 to 2004 survived. 
Critics argue that the projects should focus not only on planting trees, but also on ensuring their long-term survival. This led to innovative ecological solutions, such as fencing areas prone to desert encroachment and using seeds adapted to local ecosystems. Despite the challenges, China is not stopping. With the help of researchers, they are continuously finding solutions. Besides planting trees, smart science helps the project a lot. Scientists from Chongqing Zhang University have developed a groundbreaking solution using plant cellulose to create a paste capable of transforming desert sands into fertile soil. An experiment in the Yulinbu Desert successfully converted 1.6 hectares of barren wasteland into cultivable land. This shows that new ideas can help fix deserts and make land better. While China's leaders have driven the Green Revolution, Individuals and private entities have also played crucial roles. Yin Yusen is a notable example. Over more than three challenging decades, she transformed approximately 4,700 hectares of barren land in the Yukon Banner of China's semi-arid western region into thriving green fields. Xi Jinping, General Secretary of the Chinese Communist Party, recognized Yin's reforestation efforts as significant achievements that have improved China's overall ecology. Yin's work underscores the importance of personal responsibility in environmental initiatives. Private groups are also getting involved in these projects. REN is a company that supports efforts to tackle climate change. They point out how hard it is to work on environmental issues and urge communities to join in. REN backs modern ways to protect the environment and works with native groups to save rainforests. Their help is crucial for the Great Green Wall's success. One notable achievement is making the longest desert road in Xinjiang all green with forests. Desertification is a big problem worldwide, and China's efforts to fight it haven't gone unnoticed. They've actively reached out to other countries to work together on this issue. By sharing knowledge and teaming up with Belt and Road countries, China is making a difference. They've also set up international centers focused on preventing and dealing with desertification, showing how serious they are about tackling global environmental issues. New techniques like liquid nano clay and advanced irrigation methods offer hope for turning sandy deserts into fertile land. This step doesn't just stop desertification, it also improves agriculture and the lives of people dealing with environmental changes. Fighting these challenges will take a big effort from both institutions and individuals, but it's crucial for creating a green future for generations to come. Beyond just helping the environment, the Great Green Wall Project also brings economic benefits to communities and shows China's commitment to global environmental goals. What's your thoughts about this project? Do you think China's efforts to turn deserts into green forests will work? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe.